<clears throat> Welcome back, friends. Chief Five News at 9. We are so excited to have another edition of Ask the Sheriff. Guess who is here? Sheriff William Fettersfield, Saginaw County. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me today. Of course. We're so glad that you're here. Thank you. Such an important topic. So it's Memorial Day weekend. Everyone is so excited about the unofficial start of the summer. Yes. So today we're going to be talking about some safety tips when we're all enjoying our summer fun. So Sheriff, lots of families are traveling this weekend and planning other vacations in the upcoming weeks. So what's your advice for those who are leaving their homes for a long period of time? Well, I first want to say on this Memorial Day, yeah. you know, some people always ask me, well, what does this yes. really mean? And, and it's to remember those who Tell died us. in active yes, duty, it sure is. Uh, say, protecting our country. So yeah. I just want to um, take a moment to just yes. mention that. So as we think about that, and yeah. that's why we're actually celebrating that's it, but, why, yeah. but people will have fun and go up north and uh, they'll be mm -hmm. driving, they'll be pulling campers and everything else and uh, yeah. traffic will be bumper to bumper. Uh, but keep your phones down. I, you know, okay. I always tell people the best way you can protect yourself and others is yeah. put that phone down if you're driving. You know, go hands free if you have to, if you need to make a phone call, yes. but don't be on that phone. Yeah. Um, so many accidents that we've seen have been because of distracted driving. Yeah. Then you add in other types of things that's like right. impaired driving oh from drugs or alcohol, and, and, yeah. then, and then they're on a phone, so that's yeah. even double. Uh, the trouble. So you have to be very defensive and keep sure. your eyes on the road at all times and uh, get where you're going mm -hmm. safely. Make sure everybody's buckled up. Kids have the rights, the child safety okay. seats, all those things yeah. because uh, there's so many things that we have busy lives, but there's so many things we have to think about. Those should just be the basics. Okay. Uh, obviously, preparation is uh, the biggest thing, making sure you have all of those things to yes. be safe and then getting there. Oh, that's such, oh, such great tips. Now, a lot of people are going to be hitting the water, you know, oh, the yeah, beach, yeah. the pool. What do we need to remember for water safety? Well, for water safety, you have to always be prepared wherever you're at. I, I read a report of a couple of teenagers yeah. that died in Lake Michigan. They came up from Indiana, and it was just a few weeks ago in the mm. undertow. So our Great Lakes can be very dangerous, not just the oceans. But if, if you're going to an ocean, I've been to the Jersey yeah. Shore, and uh, those undertows can suck you right back out. And uh, if you don't t catch your breath before you go, you have to be very careful. Don't dive into any water. You don't know the depth. That's right. uh, I've met people who have lost uh, family members mm. from diving and hitting their heads and uh, it's it's horrible. So we, I, I'm not a, a doomsday person, but yeah, I'm sure. also very, very careful when it comes yeah. to water because children can, you turn your head for a moment and little exactly. kids can wander into a pool, they can wander into the lake uh, and drown. And these are the types of things we have to always be very vigilant, make sure that you're watching your kids yeah. uh, religiously, just, yes. uh, you know, the, the children, uh, we have to protect them. It so. just takes a second yeah. for anything to happen. Make exactly. sure you keep a watch on them. Now a lot of people, of course, are going to be firing at the grill yeah, this weekend. So what do we need to know for that summer barbecue? Sheriff? Well, you know, I don't barbecue very often. Okay. I'm, I'm not much of a chef. Yeah, no, I, I play the music around. I was going to say, you're, you're singing for everyone, entertaining yeah, everyone. Yeah, I'll, I'll eat the barbecue, <laughs> but I, I don't do much grilling. Right. So, uh, but you know, I do know that people keep their propane tanks. Yes. Make sure, I, I, we had a case uh, a couple years ago where someone turned on their propane and and they forgot to turn it off and it, the gas was still coming out and it travels and it goes low to the ground and oh any kind gosh. of a spark could really cause uh, an explosion or a fire. So just be safe, with, yes. know your equipment, uh, leave the grilling in the hands of those who have done it before. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of uh, do-it-yourselfers out there and uh, you know I'm one of them on some occasions. Okay. But, uh, but grilling, uh, I'm gonna leave that to the experts. Okay. So just be careful. You, you know, just entertain and, us, that's Yeah, right. I'll, I'll entertain. Okay, so Sheriff, anything else people should watch out for before we get to something kind of interesting? Uh, okay. You know, boating, yeah. seat belts, driving, all of those things, okay. you're going to be doing them this summer. Just make sure yeah. that you do them safely, uh, know the rules, know the rules of the road and the water, and uh, everything should be just fine and you can have a great time. Great tips. We're all going to be safe now right. because of that. Good. Thank you, Good. Sheriff. Now, before you go, yeah. we have a fun surprise for you. We all know what a great performer the Sheriff is. Oh, thank you. You're on stage all the time. Our morning director, Gary, found this footage of you acting in the play Breaking Legs in 2002. Check it out. Do you remember this, Sheriff? I do, I do. Yeah, what oh a great show. Oh, my goodness. Lou Graziano, there I am, yes. Look at you. Was it fun? That was a great time. I really? loved that show, and, uh, yeah, I got to uh, put on my best New York yeah. Italian accent. <laughs> and uh, the, the other, uh, Mike there, he was fabulous. These wow. actors and actresses were some of the best uh, that I'd worked with. Yeah. Joe Bertucci was our director. He was the director assigned to Pitt and Balcony for okay. several years. My first acting uh, gig, I went out and auditioned and I got uh, and the lead role. It. Well, Sheriff, are you gonna ever act again, do you think? Well, you know, I'd love to, oh, there's there's <laughs> the ladies from Saginaw Township. They're the ones that gave me the tip because I did an Elvis impersonation. Look at that, yeah, Elvis, yeah, that, and then you're doing... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that suit, I don't know I could wear that suit today. <laughs> <laughs> you also, you're also our own little 
Kenny Rogers. I mean, you sing, well, you act. What else? Uh, you know, That's these amazing. are these are. Th I wasn't into sports when I was a kid. Okay. I grew up in Maplewood and Weber, and uh, I, I listened to music. I yeah. remember uh, calling into the radio station when I was just a kid in the '70s, and I won an album. I still have it. It's Ray Parker Jr. when he was with the group Radio, R A Y D I O, wow. way before your time. But yeah. those of you who remember Radio, <laughs> I still listen to those tracks. Look at you. Yeah. Now you know you're going to have to come here and sing. I'd love to. For we us. need to get Swanson out here. You know, uh, Sheriff Swanson oh gosh, and I are doing something. That would just be the best. I'm going to let him say he's going to have something big coming up in July, and I might be bringing a band down to Genesee County. So we have to get right. him up here and, and talk about Dude, that. Kind of like team up, up a little bit. Yeah, oh. we're going to team up for something special. So. This was an awesome ask the sheriff. Thank, Thank you, you. for welcome. stopping by. We appreciate you. Now, if you have a question that you would like to ask the sheriff, to send it to WNEM at WNEM.com or send it to our social media. Stick around. Matthew has our wonderful Memorial Day weekend forecast coming up.